Sandy victims shiver in northeast without heat. Victims of Hurricane Sandy. Remember, this happened back in late October, early November. This happened a week before the election. This happened way back last year. And I, ladies and gentlemen, I'm being dead serious with you here. I do not infer anything in my tone of voice. I thought that it had been fixed. We haven't heard since a couple days after the election anything about the Northeast. Well, there were occasional stories of people still didn't have power, still didn't have gasoline, uh, homes still hadn't been rebuilt. But those stories died away shortly after the election. Uh, Chris Christie wasn't talking about it much anymore. Andrew Cuomo wasn't talking about it much anymore. The president wasn't. Uh, Mayor Doomberg wasn't talking about it. And as time has gone on, I just thought that problem had been solved. Honest, honestly, I did. I thought the power had been restored. I thought gasoline stations are back open. I thought people moved back into their house. I was shocked when I saw this. I really, folks, I thought it was done. I haven't heard any complaints about it. I, I, I haven't heard anything worth FEMA. I haven't heard anything about people freezing. I haven't heard anything. Not like I heard in Hurricane Katrina. We heard, we heard about that for a year. I thought it had been fixed. The pr- For that week before the election, everybody drove in, flew in, photo ops, made promises. President got together with Christie. They said they set up this hotline. They were going to eliminate any bureaucratic red tape. If you called with a problem, it was going to get attention in 15 minutes. Hundreds of people, Staten Island and along the Jersey Shore, are still without basic necessities nearly three months after the storm hit. The people in the Northeast have just been abandoned. Still no heat. No heat, no no running water. It, three months. 